a sphinx at Rosicrucian Park in San Jose, California. The Ankh is similar to the cross from religion. However, the top is looped, representing eternal life. Obelisk with hieroglyphs. A serpent. Look at the half circle under the serpent. Does that represent the moon? Or the sunrise? Look at the flat thing under the half circle. It appears to have three drips dripping from it. The Ankh. The eye symbol. If you know what these symbols mean, comment below the video. The crow, is that a crow at the top? Is it the bird of Hermes? Let's see what the placard says. Oh, here's more symbols too. Is that a cartouche? More symbols. What do they mean? Obelisk. This obelisk is a three-quarter size replica of the original, which stood before the House of the Sun, Sun Temple, at Heliopolis, the biblical city of On in Lower Egypt. Constructed in 1941 BCE, the original obelisk, which is now almost 4,000 years old, is the oldest surviving obelisk in Egypt. The inscription indicates that it was erected by Senesret I, second pharaoh of the 12th dynasty, on the occasion of his jubilee, the Heb Sed festival. The hieroglyphs say Horus, Ankh Mez T, king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Keper Ka Re. Of the two ladies, Ankh Mes II, son of Re, Senesret, beloved of the souls of Anu, Heliopolis, living forever, the Horus of gold, Ankh Mes II, the good de deity. Keper Ka Re, on day one of the Heb Sed festival, he made this obelisk, granted life forever.
Some of these alchemy symbols I understand, and some I do not understand. If you can read them, if you understand them, feel free to comment below the video. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.